G'day everyone, welcome back to my little home machine shop. I thought I'd just do this quick video to show you what I've been up to and uh, if you had a look at any of my Instagram posts, if you've got Instagram, you'll notice I've been working on a new shop trolley. Now this mill shop trolley, believe it or not, I found it on the side of the road and it started its life as a homemade barbecue. It had half a beer keg, a stainless steel beer keg cut in half longitudinally, welded up underneath the table, it had aluminium checker plate on top. So what I did, I took all the rivets out, welded up all the rivet holes, uh, cut up some angle line. Unfortunately, I didn't film this. Um, I just wanted to get it done. I then inserted a couple of um, angle iron plates where the drawer runners would run. So I've put a couple of drawers in it. I've done an angle iron top so the timber will sit in and it's protected all the way around. Now what I envisage doing down the track is making my own little homemade shop crane that I can pick up these vices and uh, rotary tables with and everything like that. I've also attached my BT30 tool holder over to the side here so I can actually change tools out without putting that back in the vise all the time. So now my vise is free over on the bench and I can just use this as my setup trolley. I've got two drawers. In the top drawer, I'll show you now, um, this is where I keep some of my more you know, accurate equipment, measuring equipment, my little cast iron bluing plate, uh, some V blocks, some one, two, three blocks, the lathe alignment tool for the tailstock, and various other pieces. And in the second drawer, I've got more fixturing stuff, so a vacuum table that was supplied by Warren Wise. And the table on the sides, I just use sheet metal. Uh, timber's really hard to get, and I believe it's a worldwide problem. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it's COVID or what's caused it. But I went over to a big timber supply here, and I bought a full-size sheet. And I pulled up in my little four-wheel drive. I got a little Mitsubishi ASX. And the big Maori guy, New Zealand, a Kiwi guy, served me. And uh, massive monster of a man. And he looked at me, he goes, that ain't going to fit in the car, bro. I said, no, it won't. I might put it in the car park. And I pulled out my generator and circular saw and cut up the sheet in their car park and then loaded in my car. And uh, I think they were quite amazed. I think they were inside filming me going, look at this lunatic, you know. Oh, I don't own any battery powered power tools, but I've got a good generator and, you know, extension leads. So anyway, let's take a look at the mail call. And then I'm going to bring you in and show you my new addition to my workshop, my Vertex 10-inch rotary table and the unboxing. Today we've got a letter all the way from the UK, I believe. Let's open up and I think I know who it's from. I believe it could be my old mate Ralphie from Ralphie Customs. Let's check it out. And there we have it, guys. Good on you, Ralphie. Thank you so much for those stickers, mate. Um, if you, don't, if you haven't heard of Ralphie's channel, go check him out. So Ralphie's got quite a good healthy number of subscribers and um, he covers everything about custom motorcycles and builds Harley Davidson's, that sort of stuff. Uh, it does some really, really uh, trick, unique sort of work in the motorcycle industry. Uh, way out of my league, unfortunately, but no, well done, Ralphie. Thank you. Ralphie's also on um, Facebook and Instagram, so go check him out. I'll turn those stickers around. They're really cool. And they'll make a welcome addition to my sticker board, mate. Thank you very much. And I believe Ralphie's over in the UK. Whereabouts, mate? Leicestershire. Or Leicestershire. Leicestershire, I think you pronounce it. Well done, mate. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the now, next. Now, this one's from the USA. And it's from my old buddy, David uh, Burrell. Uh, his channel name is Neo CNC. All right. Now David's got once again a very healthy number of subscribers. Also, um, he's in the couple of hundred thousands, I think he is. So David does a lot of custom CNC work, and he sent me some lovely stickers. And thank you, mate. So very, uh, very nice quality stickers. Heaps of colour. They really pop. So they look good on my board as well, mate. And um, I may even put this one on my CNC machine yet. But these will definitely go on the sticker board. 
Uh, I'll turn it around so I can read it. He's got here, Aaron, thanks for sending your address so I can get these out to you. I always enjoy your contact and appreciate your lessons. Now, Dave and I are predominantly connected on my other channel, on my DCT channel. Um, I hope you and the family are well. All the best, my friend. Best regards, David. Thanks, David. Much appreciated, mate. I'll get them on the board in a minute. Yeah. Last but not least is my good buddy, Mike. And Mike sent me probably uh, 10 or 15 of these stickers over, so thank you, Mike. Now, Mike is from Blue Hands Video. Go and check him out. He does manual machining, CNC machining. Uh, we have lots in common. And I'm going to include in the outtake some of uh, some of the stuff Mike's done for me in the past when I was shooting another video for my other channel. And he said some really funny funny stuff. It's, yeah, some of it can be quite crude and vulgar, which really appeals to me in my, in my uh, narrative. So, um, yeah, check it out at the end reel for the bloopers, and uh, I think you'll get a laugh out of a couple of them. And Robert really did a good job at packing this, mate, of... Uh, Holy cow, it ain't ever going to move. <sighs> Alright. Take a look at that. Hey, this bloke knows how to tie his knots. Okay, so uh, off camera. <laughs> I picked it up and, you know, blew a puffle valve out my backside and put it up on the bench. And I think it's just a bit easier up here. I hate working on the ground. There's probably $200 worth of screws here, uh, Robert. I won't have to buy any for a while. I needed some of these too. Thanks, mate. It's like trying to crack open an oyster. Bloody beautiful mate, vertex table in there. Let's get it out of the box. Um, tip the box up on its side and that's the way it goes on the table. It's a bloody big rotary, so let's see if I can get it off. Uh, Robert, I think I'm gonna have to buy a bigger mill, mate. And look at that. Look at that. He's even put in a lifting hook and a T-nut for me. Thanks, Robert. Appreciate that. And there's all the handles in the bag. Looks like a bit of cardboard in the centre, I think. Yeah. Came out like a suppository. I believe it's a 10-inch vertex chuck. Let me get out my tape measure. Now, just to appease you bloody Americans over in the USA, look, I've given the metric tape measure the arse, and I've brought out, look at this, my imperial one. Put it this way so you can see it. Yeah, it's on the money, it's a 10 inch, okay, which converts over to 255, roughly millimeters, okay? Well, that concludes today's video. I'm sorry it wasn't very exciting. I promise I'll get to some more manual machining very, very soon. I just had to get out of the way, big CNC machine job. And as you know, paying jobs take precedence over uh, YouTube videos that don't earn me any money, right? And especially takes precedence with my wife as well. So thanks again for checking in. Now stay tuned, stay here for a minute. Check some of the outtakes. I'm going to put some out, some funny outtakes from Mike over at Blue Hands Video. Be warned, they are crude. So if you don't like a dirty joke, don't watch them. All right. So I think you've got to say trigger warning now, so I don't upset the social justice warriors and the snowflakes. Okay, Aaron, I'm ready to start your probing video. Okay, Aaron. <laughs> uh, if you wanted sexual innuendos related to probing, you came to the right guy. Aaron thinks he's going to find the G-spot with his tiny little probe. <laughs> he's going to need a probe double for this video. <laughs> when having a one-inch probe really is okay, 
And she won't leave you for it. Huh? I heard that spot was a myth. I'm sure his wife had to show him where it was first. If he finds the right spot, that machine's gonna have one happy vice. Uh, as long as there's no bottom probing. You should just use your sausage fingers. They're way bigger than your probe. All right, buddy. Hopefully some of that works, fits, whatever. Uh, however you want to use it. Uh, they're funny in my head. Ah, whether or not they're funny on this, who knows. I know my wife rolled her eyes at some of the ones I told her. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Oh, yeah. One more. Is this what you had in mind, big boy? <laughs> now, Ralphie... I'm too chicken shit to get a tattoo, but I've always wanted to get a tattoo of Australian $100 note and tattoo it on my <laughs> Now the reason I want to do that is because my wife loves, loves the handle and loves the feel of money and I want to watch her blow a hundred bucks. Where's the cats? Any cats? What's he, where's the cat? Here, here, where's the cat? Where's the cats? Get him cats.